Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're looking at the cleat and rail system in our Toyota Tundra. If this comes factory installed, they usually give you a total of four cleats. I found some extras, and if you check the video description, I'll show you where you can pick up some extras too. But what's really cool is if your Toyota Tundra didn't come with this, from what I've seen, all of the holes are already pre-drilled and ready to go for you to add this system. So it's something that you could easily add to it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and show you how some of this works. So this is what the cleat looks like. And so you see it has the rail system and it has it on both sides of the bed in this case and also up against the uh, the cab of the truck and so since it only came with two on each side from the factory they were installed on the sides so this is what the cleat looks like it has a maximum of 220 pull load on it so you don't want to have too much pressure on them um, they're just meant to tie things down and if you look on the knob there's some arrows so one's pointing inward which will show you pushes in and one is uh, indicating to turn it from side to side to tighten and loosen it so what you'll do is you'll turn it counterclockwise to loosen it and then you can push in and slide this now if you notice if you just push it in slightly and then you give it a push it will lock into place every you know few inches or so there's little cutouts that you'll see here and that's what it's locking into so you can push it in slightly and uh, just give it a little push and it will automatically lock every few inches or if you push and hold in then you can slide it as far as you want and then just release it when you want it to lock Then when you have it in place, just go ahead and turn it clockwise until it's good and tight and it will stay in place. So really nice system here. I'll show you what it looks like off the truck and how to remove them and install them. Uh, so this is what it looks like. You see it just has a little spring. And so as you're pushing it, it's uh, allowing this to go in and out to release from those grooves. And we'll go ahead and install it. So on the end of the rail, you'll see that there's a little cap. So you just push it in and slide it out. And so uh, I also have a link in the description where you can buy replacements of those if you're missing yours. And so now uh, the cleat just comes in from the side and you push in and slide it onto the rail. So that's how easy it is to slide it on and off of the rail. And then you'd simply just put the cap back in by lining it up and pushing it till it clicks. Now one quick tip for installing is you'll see on this cleat on the right hand side it has a block and then on the left hand side it's clear. And so as you're putting it in, that block needs to go first into the, into the rail and it'll slide right in. What you'll see is if you were putting it on backwards, you wouldn't be able to get it in because it doesn't clear right here. So you might be figuring and trying to figure out why it's not going in. So turn it around and make sure that the block goes in first and then there's plenty of room for this to slide onto the rail. Okay, so just to show this again as a little demo, we're going to go ahead and loosen this up. Uh, you want to have it loose enough that you can push in and then either slide it as far as you want to. Or push it in and uh, just slide the entire cleat without holding it down and it will lock into place for each of the different grooves. So that's how this works in general. Um, one thing to mention as well is some people have complained that they hear rattling as they're driving down the road. So you want to make sure that these are nice and snug. Uh, otherwise, you might hear them uh, rattling around and it's been uh, something as simple as tightening it down to get rid of that rattle sound. Once you have it down and secure, now you can put uh, whatever tie downs that you have on them. And again, these are meant just for holding things down, not for really trying to pull somebody out of the mud or doing something like that. So just remember the 220 pounds of force is what they're designed for. And it's nice to use these uh, in addition to uh, the hooks that already come in the truck. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please check the video description. I have other videos that are similar to this. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.